first snake I ever had in Florida. She'll be with me as long as I'm a person, she's a snake, I suppose. Say hi to the camera, Sue. <laughs> Say hi, baby. Hi, mama. Do you want something on the YouTube? Oh, yes. I want to eat it up. Bob is an African spur thigh tortoise, sulcata tortoise. It's called that because if you look at his thighs here, big old spurs. He's looking pretty good. Still a little grumpy, you know? The camera being in the face is its whole thing. Look at my guy, Bob, here. Now, I know most of you probably know Bob by now, but it's been a while since I really talked about him. I'm always just on here feeding him, playing with him, making jokes, singing with him. But if you remember, Bob is an African spur thigh tortoise, sulcata tortoise. It's called that because if you look at his thighs here, big old spurs. Now what he actually uses those for, I'll put them down to show you. So in the wild, if I were a predator, which Bob knows I'm not, but we can simulate it a bit. If I were a predator, you know, kick rocks. I'd be coming up here like, hey, hey mister, I wanna eat ya. And he'd put his legs here, he'd put this leg up here. And these are just like armored place that, you know, most predators out there either can't get through or they're not gonna, deal with the effort that it takes to get the little amount of meat inside of him. Now being from Africa, he is just, he's got that dog in him. He's just naturally more, def like stuff from Africa, they're just, it's just badass because it knows it has to fight. And if you look here, it's two big spurs they'll actually use to fight other sulcata tortoises. Now his are not super pronounced because he's still a young guy. He's only eight years old. But they'll get bigger and bigger as he grows and they'll actually flip each other over and they can potentially kill each other. It's pretty crazy. Some of you might remember when I brought Martin, uh, Tyler's tortoise over here to try to keep him for a little bit. Bob and Martin didn't get along and they were just bumping into each other, crashing into each other. Bang, 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 bang. Fighting, fighting, fighting. You just can't have that. I've got, I, you had two male sulcata tortoises fighting like that. Two animals that we care about. We don't want them to get hurt, so we had to separate them. But it just shows you how serious these animals are. I mean, I know he's a little guy, he's a little tortoise, but he's a killer. He's cold-blooded. He's he. This is his territory now. He knows this is his land. When we brought Martin in here, he was like, "Yo, dude, you must be new here, bro. This is my." Sh so we're still trying to find him a female. I don't really want to breed the sulcatas, but I do want him to kind of get that aggression out. Cause I mean, guys, you know how it is, dude. A couple weeks, a couple months, however long it's been, you get pent up, you start humping a bag of rocks in your backyard like a sick pervert like he was. So, I'm tired of cleaning up tortoise semen, all right? It sounds funny, it's gross. It's really, really gross. Gotta find him a little lady to uh, empty his fluids out into. We'll figure out what to do with the eggs after that after we cross that bridge. Showing you how everyone's doing. As you know, this is a good girl, Susie. Say hi, Susie. Say hi to the camera, Sue. <laughs> Say hi, baby. Hi, mama. Uh, you know, I find myself, like, oh, I don't have anything to film, I don't have anything to film. I got lots of stuff to film. So, today we're just gonna be doing some stuff, taking care of a little bit of bit even though he doesn't want to see us. We'll be feeding Bob a little bit later, feeding my snakes later, changing out their lights. Nothing crazy, nothing that's gonna kill me, but I can't always do stuff that's gonna kill me, you guys, because otherwise I'll die, all right? But soon enough, I'll always be doing stuff that, but I gotta get the snakes first. Okay. Look who it is, y'all. The unnamed pine snake, and look how calm he is. We've been putting in the work with him. Dude, you're making me look bad. Remember your lines. Jeez, don't hiss until I put you away here or you won't get paid. So, <clears throat> he's looking pretty good. Still a little grumpy, you know? The camera being in the face is its whole thing. It's a whole intimidation thing, but look. I mean, you remember the first time he was in a video, he's hissing, he's a little still reactive to moving near the head, but he's doing super well. He's getting big. He's losing that rub that was on his nose. He's he shed twice now for me. Pretty freaking good, dude. Pretty freaking good. 
Look at him. Oh, don't even look too close. I don't trust him that much yet. You know what I mean? Look at that. I would not have let him do this a few weeks ago. Now, obviously, he can't hurt me up here, but it's just a matter of him being reactive to movement, him being defensive. He would have bitten me a few weeks ago. But I've been in here. I've been holding him. I've been working with him. He's looking pretty good, man. He's looking pretty good. Hardly hissing at all. Part of that is me respecting what makes him comfortable, moving slowly with him and all that good stuff, but oh, there, buddy. relax. I mean, a few weeks ago, that would have really, really bugged him. But he's starting to figure out that maybe this Duff Does Nature stuff guy ain't so bad after all, dude. Maybe, just maybe. So let me know down in the comments, guys. What should I name him? Just let me know. I, uh, I know I asked you before. There were some good names. But nothing that really caught my eye. Nothing that really popped out and said, yeah, that is his name. That's what he will be. So let me know in the comments. Give me, I'm going to try to pick like a top four or five from you guys. And I'll probably do a poll on my Instagram to figure out what his final forever name will be. You know? Guys, we're going to put my homie away. He's being good. I don't want to risk irritating him. It is winter time now, so I have chilled the room out a bit. Hey, Buster, I know, I hear you. So that could be part of the reason he's being a bit calmer. You can see him moving around, flicking his tongue. It's not like he's frozen. Relax, buddy, I hear you. But we're gonna put that guy away. We're gonna get Adrian out, and my red-tailed boa. Say bye, buddy. No name yet, my friend. We'll get you one soon, bro. You're going in here, buddy. Look at that, he knows where home is. He's like, oh yeah, it smells like my poop in here. That is where I live and it is my home. I like it a lot. Oh, look how big my lady is getting. Adrian, look at her. Wow, she's huge. Adrian Balboa, let me support you, baby girl. Now I know I've been talking about it for a while. I really, really need to upgrade her enclosure. She's getting way too big for this 40 gallon I have her in. It's a 40 gallon. It's a fancy 40 gallon, but it's the size of a 40 gallon. I just have not it's just, it's, cages are expensive. And I almost think, I almost think I need to just build her one with some wood and some of my leftover chicken wire. Build it right into this. She, I feel like she has grown a lot this year. You know, I've been a little more focused on getting her fed and a little more focused. You know, I know I'm trying to keep you stretched out. You don't love that baby girl, but. She's honestly pushing up against like three and a half, four feet. And she's thick, thicker than a snicker. Even her head's getting big. She's huge. She's officially the size of a boa that sucks to get bitten by. They've got big teeth. It's not like a python, okay? I get bit by Burmese pythons all the time. Not all the time because I'm a pro, you know what I mean? But enough that I know how it feels. And to be fair, when I'm out in the glades, you know, I've got adrenaline going and stuff. In here in the snake room, there's no adrenaline. But these boas are pound for pound the strongest and or the strongest snake on the planet. That's why they're called the boa constrictor. They're the OG constrictor. A 10 foot boa has the power of arguably a 15 or 16 foot python. Pound for pound, the strongest snake on the planet. Absolutely ridiculous. And when you feel the coil from a wild boa or an angry boa on you, you really start to understand why they are called the boa constrictor. The power that these animals have is absolutely ridiculous. Not to mention they have hundreds and hundreds of huge, huge rear facing teeth. So they are, you know, in nature, they're, they're apex predators, they're ambush predators. They're out there eating birds, small mammals, and even lizards maybe, anything they're getting their, their teeth on. You need to have those long teeth to get through the fur, to get through the feathers of those animals. Being that they are ambush predators hunting birds, small mammals, maybe even lizards, iguanas, stuff like that. They've got those big rear fang or backwards facing teeth like a fish hook. You know, they're lying, they're waiting along a game trail, hoping for an animal to walk by them. They can't take a chance of that animal getting away. They have to get it, they're holding on, and they're using these insanely strong core muscles here. You can see her flexing out as I hold her. These snakes are pure muscle. Pure muscle, but look at her. The lovely Adrian Balboa. The first snake I ever had in Florida. She'll be with me as long as I'm a person and she's a snake, I suppose. Hey, bye, Adrian. 
Hope you find your dad. I know, guys. It's not a cobra. It's not a rattlesnake. But it's badass. Is that my cage, Daddy? You put me in my cage again. You don't let me out. You make me eat the chickens and all the rats. I don't want the rats. I want something like a steak, maybe something good. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine, though. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. They did up my prescription because the voices came back, but the voices hardly even tell me to do anything bad. It's not even like, it's not anything. Just a quick little feeding for our buddy Prometheus. Hey, pal. Hey, Buster. You hungry? Come on, dude. Do you want something on the YouTube? Oh, yes. I don't want to eat it up. <laughs> He's psycho. Here we go. Let's see. She's in a good mood today. She's usually quite scary to feed. Wow. So we're out here. We're just driving through this random neighborhood. But this pond right here, I mean, you look, there's, uh, there's a lot of wildlife going on around this pond. Baby iguanas, birds. We're just going to do a lap. This is, you know, the stuff that I normally just do and don't film, but we gotta start filming it because it's cool. You never know what you're gonna see. So we're gonna hopefully try to catch this big iguana over here. I'm quite slow. And they're quite fast. But... While I'm creeping up on that thing, I'm realizing that we might go do a video just hunting iguanas or catching iguanas. I've never done it, I've never really even looked at him. That's so cool. I've never really had an interest to do it, but once he got away, I was like, damn, now I want to catch iguanas. I'm slow, I don't know if you noticed that. I wasn't even gonna hit you with a full sprint because it'd be too embarrassing. I'm gonna make a lizard noose, and we're gonna film a video soon hunting iguanas. I think it'll be fun. All right, that's it for this one, you guys. Just some checkups with the animals, you know. Just a little sneak peek of what we're doing right now. We got some wood going, got some tools going, some power tools, because we're powerful dudes. We got some corners built. Yeah, we got a corner built. Can you guess what that's for? I'll give you a hint. I talked about it in this video. <laughs> All right, but thank you guys for watching. Another great one, just keeping up with the stuff at home. Bob, Adrian, the unnamed pine snake. Remember, comment down below what you think I should name him. I'm gonna try to pick top five, and then in the next video, I'll probably tell you guys the top five, maybe do an Instagram poll or something. We'll figure it out. First, you guys gotta comment a good name. So, make sure you guys follow Blake. We're getting there. It's really nice having a camera guy. I feel like the videos look a little more professional now, so. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. We love you. We'll see you soon.